how will the machines change customer relationship and customer experience management? We already have seen um, from IBM Watson assisting. IBM is strongly emphasizing it will not replace human interaction, but it will assist, which is important. Um, IBM is, by the way, a technology company, and usually they say, oh, we can solve the world, we can, we can do this and this, but they say, no, we want to assist. And I think that's the right approach to it. We have seen so many uh, künstliche Intelligenz, neural networks, now we have artificial intelligence, it's the same old thing, and it hasn't worked for 20 years. So I think now technology vendors have to be very, very careful when it comes to human interaction. No technology can, is, can replace or substitute human beings because we can, within a fraction of a time, understand emotions, interpret uh, the word empathy, which is, I, I like this, it's nothing new. Since man exists, we have empathy, we look at your faces, we interpret and so forth. So machines can assist, and this is important. Looking at, I take one example where a machine can assist, but not replace. Google has invented the Google Lens. You can put it into your eye. And Google has, by the way, not studied medicine. And they are not a doctor. But by looking at 12,000 people and their data, they say, looking at the lens and the data of your lens, I would say your blood pressure is out of range. You should consult your doctor. They will not never replace a doctor and going having a personal visit but they can say, I can save you lives and I can serve as an, as an assistant and as an early warning system and say, your blood pressure is out of range because with big data I can assist you. But machines should never try to replace because that is when people starting being afraid and reluctant to, to the machines and the systems, but be having an assistant that helps to make my life easier, perfectly fine. Olaf yesterday mentioned uh, Google Now. If you have um, activated Google Now, Google Now will learn from your behavior and try to predict what, what are you doing next. The first time I used it, I was kind of surprised because I'm every Friday I driving a certain distance from my office to my home, or to, my, to my girlfriend. And Google Now has learned, oh, Friday, five o'clock, Harold should start in the car and drive. Now when I enter my car, Google now says, it's about 35 minutes drive and I have seen no traffic jam. So because Google now knows, Friday afternoon, okay, Harold is entering his car and starting his engine and driving home. That's a kind of assistant. I know there's no traffic jam. I don't need to put the radio on to see a traffic jam. I accept this. But there is a limit where I say, okay, don't try to replace me, silly human being but it's trying to assist.